Welcome back. If you're new, I'm Alexa and my channel focuses on curly hair. So in today's video, we are going to be dusting the ends of my hair. We are also going to be styling it before I do dust it. So I am planning to make this like a two or three day video where I am going to style my hair today and tomorrow on day two, I will be dusting the ends of my hair. So if you do not know what dusting is, it's basically when you snip off some of the ends of your hair you honestly barely notice that you like cut your hair or anything like that maybe you can notice it a little bit i feel like i can um usually when i know that it's time to dust my hair it's because i do got like a lot of um fairy knots at the ends of my hair or split ends i feel like i just get a lot of shedding because when i'm detangling it gets like caught at the bottom and also when my ends tend to get like frizzier as the days go by so i do love to dust the ends of my hair like every month if i can every month i try to do it every two months i have been dusting for over a year now and i feel like it has been really helping my hair and when it comes to like a professional haircut like if I am cutting a lot of my hair I do go to a professional also if I am looking to like kind of reshape my cut so dusting is something that I just do at home because it is really simple so these are the scissors that I am going to be using to dust my hair but I am going to be dusting tomorrow on day two today I'm going to be styling my hair with just one product it's kind of like a luxury product this is the brand hair cream they do sell this at Sephora and I kind of want to put it to the test because I feel like it has a lot of like big claims back here so I'm just gonna read the bag for you really quick if that's something you are interested in so it says that this is a hair cream is a silky soft styling cream that contains conditioning and repairing agents for a semi soft hold and with elasticity and pileability. The soft serve like emulsion with mango butter, grapeseed oil, argan oil, and castor oil, wraps your strands in lightweight shine and effortless curl definition. So all of these ingredients, I believe these are the key ingredients. My hair really likes this because my hair always loves moisture. And yeah, I'm just going to be applying this in sections to my hair like I usually do. I'm going to be using my Tangle Teaser. And I also see that this has really good ingredients that do help um, with moisture loss in the hair. It has glycerol, stearate, SE, and it also has cap triglyceride and capric triglyceride is just an ingredient that i do notice that my hair does love a lot and it also um like i feel like whenever i use a product with this ingredient specifically to style i feel like my hair does stay moisturized for days so what i'm planning to do is i'm going to style my hair right now i'm going to show you some of that if that's something you're not interested in then i'm going to make sure to put timestamps here i will be dusting my ends tomorrow with you guys and yeah let's get started so if you guys notice whenever i do style my hair i love wearing like a satin robe i did get this one at forever 21 i feel like um it just like helps prevent frizz while i'm styling and i'm just like setting my hair on my shoulders so i'm just going to put this on and we're going to start styling i'm really excited i've actually haven't styled my hair with just a cream in so long i think it's honestly been over a year since i used just a cream in my hair to style and the reason i'm just using a cream is because i just want my hair to be really soft really moisturized when i do dust it tomorrow I did take out the hair cream out of the box. As you can see, this is a really pretty box. And this is the um, the hair cream jar. It's honestly heavy. Um, I don't know if you can see it in person. And it's also like really, really strong. I feel like you can definitely repurpose this after using it. 
and it just feels like a really expensive product honestly so when i opened it um honestly when i opened it this is what it looks like i did open this um the first time i got it i think it was like about three weeks ago and it also does bring like a little skill in here that's something that i always look for when i do buy products but i feel like i did notice when i got this and i opened it like the seal was stuck to the top right here it wasn't actually on the product and i mean that's probably something that happened during shipping so this product does have some hydrolyzed quinoa protein it's probably like i'll say the seventh or eighth to last ingredient in here so i feel like it's really balanced so i really feel like my hair is going to like this and when i do smell this i smell let's see it smells like candy i feel like it smells like their oil if you've ever smelled it it smells like sour patch kids and just really fruity candies but i feel like the smells a little bit like um less than the oil for this it's like a little bit more soothing so i'm going to start off with this amount and i'm gonna see how that works as you can see it's super creamy it feels really velvety it feels really really velvety and i'm just going to put this through my hair See if my hair wants more or if this is fine. So I feel like that honestly melted into my hair right away. I'm just going to brush it and see how it feels. Hmm. I feel like I need a little bit more honestly for this section. My hair is really thick and really coarse. I'm going to apply this much more to my hair. I'm so curious to see if this is going to have any hold to it, honestly. My hair definitely needs some dusting. I can feel like all uh, some fairy knots at the ends of my hair. So this is what my hair looks like. I feel like it looks moisturized. So I'm just gonna scrunch it. And I'm just gonna continue. If you've tried this cream already then let me know if you've tried it i want to know your thoughts on it if you have like a specific combo you like using it with or anything like that y'all can see i am all done styling my hair honestly right now i'm really impressed because my hair looks so so moisturized and i know it's definitely because this has those really rich ingredients like mango butter it has castor oil it has shea butter it has all of these ingredients that my really thick hair does like so i'm super excited i feel like not judging from now i'm definitely gonna go diffuse I'm, i think i'm probably going to air dry for 30 minutes then i'm gonna diffuse and then i'm gonna come back we're gonna see how my hair looks like with just one product and yeah see you guys soon i'm so excited
So I'm almost done diffusing. Honestly, so far, I am really impressed by how this cream is like giving me a little bit of hold i have like a slight cast i don't know if i'll call it a cast it's probably on a scale from one through ten like a two honestly but i do feel a little tiny bit of hold in this routine so i'm going to keep diffusing when it's time to break apart this cast i'm gonna come back and we can break it apart together As y'all can see, my hair is finally all styled and it's 100% dry. So I'm really happy with how my hair came out. Um, I'm glad that I did decide to pick that hair cream to like test it out today and see how it works. So I feel like it gave me really good moisture, really good definition. I feel like it worked really well and I'm impressed. I'm just curious to see how it's going to hold up but I am planning to dust my hair. I don't know if I want to dust tomorrow on day two, maybe style on day three, like restyle after um, dusting my hair a little bit, or maybe I might dust my hands on day three and then style my hair on day three, like restyle it. So I'm gonna see how I'm feeling and I'm gonna come back and we're going to dust my hands. And I'm also planning to cut my bangs because um they do grow pretty fast and i feel like i can see it more when i do use one product to style so i'm going to cut them a little bit with y'all and yeah i'll see you tomorrow or the day after Right now it's day two and we are finally going to be dusting my hair. I'm so excited. So there are some essential things that I do like having with me whenever I'm doing this. So I do have a claw clip with me. I also have a scrunchie and I have a random alligator clip. You can have any like hair tie or clips of choice. These are just the ones that I do prefer. And of course we have my scissor here. And this is what I'm going to be using to cut my hair. I did purchase this on Amazon and I think it's really important whenever you are dusting your hair or cutting it if you are going to do it yourself make sure you have some scissors that are specifically designed to cut hair because they are just really beneficial and if you use like regular scissors to cut paper they are not as sharp and they can just be more damaging to your hair and create things like split ends so I'm just going to put my satin um robe thing on and we are going to get to dusting my ends today so since i do have a lot of hair i do like um splitting it so i'm going to start off with the bottom right here i put most of my hair up and we are going to get started so usually um sometimes i do this curl by curl sometimes i take like a lot of hair and i just like look through it and cut what is necessary so i think i'm going to start off with this curl right here okay i kind of want to show you guys what's happening so do you guys see how there's like just so many like ads going like everywhere i don't know if you can see that I'm literally just trying my best to show you. And then I also like to feel my ends if they feel like rough or if I do feel any bumps, those might be fairy knots. So I definitely want to get rid of those. So you should cut below your fingers and remember this is like a haircut. You can't like really tell that you cut your hair. This is something that you might be able to tell yourself personally by the amount of hair that's like shedding afterwards or just how your ends feel or how they look. So I'm literally cutting this much off.
usually when I'm doing this I also notice that there's not like a lot that I need to cut off from the bottom and I feel like it's just because the bottom of my hair is not as exposed as the top to like all of the elements and I feel like I do tend to like manipulate that part of my hair the most the top because that's the part that people can see the most. I just found a fairy knot right here and I do cut these off so I hope you can see that my hair right there it has a fairy knot so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut above it and now I got rid of that it's right here so I'm gonna cut above that So I am done with this piece right here of my hair. So I'm just gonna take my scrunchie and I'm just gonna tie each um, piece that I've done as I go. So usually I also like to look at it and I like separate it as my layers go because my hair is cut in layers. So ideally this piece will probably be good to like cut together. Again, I'm just feeling it. Look, this is literally all over the place. This needs some serious help right here and it just feels so dry. So I'm just cutting again. And already that's looking so much better. I'm gonna try to put a comparison of how it looked before versus now. That way you can see. We are finally done with my overall hair. Now we are up to my bangs right here, which they really need some like shaping. So I'm going to be cutting off a good amount right here. I'm gonna start off with the sides right here. And this whole dusting situation, you can't barely tell except for this. I think that's good. I'm gonna do this side here and then I'm gonna go to the middle. Cause I do like having um the middle parts of my bangs a little bit shorter than the sides. And I'm just bringing these two side parts together just to kind of have them the same length. Okay, I 
think that's good. Now I'm gonna go to the middle band right here. So usually like if I were to have gel in my hair, my hair obviously is going to shrink up a little more. So right now I'm just thinking, um, cause like since I do have one product, my hair isn't as like shrinked up. So I'm just kind of gonna look. Um, let's see, cut that much off. I'm all done cutting my bangs. I think I might style them right now. Like, I'm just gonna re-wet them a little bit. Okay, so that's it for my dusting right now. I feel like I look a little crazy since I did wet the front right here. But let me just show y'all what my hair looks like. It definitely needs to be, like, styled. So I'm planning to do that tomorrow. But I am so happy because as I was cutting, I could definitely tell that my ends feel so much better. I also got rid of so many fairy knots. So I'm going to come back tomorrow. We're going to wash my hair. I think I'm just going to cold wash since I did wash yesterday. And I don't want to go in with like a shampoo again. And then we are going to style. I think I'm going to use the same curl cream from Bride. And I'm going to pair it up with a gel. Maybe the Swiss gel. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So right now, it's actually two days later from the time that I actually did see y'all. I just didn't have time to wash my hair yesterday. So I'm about to co-wash right now and then I'm going to style so we can see my final results after dusting and trimming my bangs. So to co-wash, I'm going to use the Curl Rehab Coconut Milk and Avocado Shampoo Conditioner. And yeah, I'm going to go hop in the shower and I'll be back in a few minutes. I finally washed my hair, so I'm going to style right now. Now I'm going to be using the red hair cream again and I'm going to pair it up with the twist by Wee Da Weather Up Gel. So let's get on to styling. finally all styled and this is how it came out i can definitely tell myself how much the dusting did help my hair they just feel healthier also when i was styling my hair i could feel how many less fairy knots i did have at the ends when i was just putting the product through and brushing it through also as you can see this is how my bangs came out also if i'm completely honest with you i feel like the bread hair cream paired up with the twist by we weather up gel it wasn't the best combo it did give me pretty good results but i feel like that hair cream can probably benefit from another gel so i am going to keep experimenting with that if you do want to follow me along on that journey then definitely follow me on instagram i do post many of my wash days on there if you haven't tried dusting your ends i definitely recommend it it's like kind of like a haircut but honestly you can't even tell it's just to keep the health of your hair that's what i think and yeah as i said this is something that i do like to do once a month or every two months just depending when i do have time because as you can see even though i did speed up the video it is something that you do need to be patient with that way you can go through individual curls and just touch your ends and see 
where they need to be cut. I also really love my bangs and I am really excited to keep playing around with them with different combinations. And I also really do hope this video helped you out if you never tried dusting. If you have, comment down below and let me know how often you do it to your own hair. And if you've never tried dusting, then let me know if this is something you are willing to give it a try. I'm also going to be linking down below everything I did use in this video. And overall, for the bread hair cream, I honestly really liked it. I think it was really moisturizing and I could just tell as the days went by, I do definitely think it can benefit from a gel if you want more longevity and hold in your hair. And yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it and I'll be seeing you guys next week. Bye!